I'll get a couple questions. Later. Well, I mean, I mean, it's another time when we was in Hollywood at the skate ring when a lot of uh, drama come out. I think you was up there. It's just a lot of little situations. Yeah. I just like hearing your stories. Just like when I told Pookie when Salty got killed, we riding down Alondra, and I said, Underground Ghost Town, Underground Ghost Town, Spook Town, Granny Crip. I didn't know what that mean. I didn't know that was four different cliques. I yeah. just thought that somebody had rolled and he got kind of explained it to me because like, when we went to Salty Funeral, everybody, you know, tied the blue rags to the antennas and stuff. Yeah. That was brick. But it's just a lot of situations. I just like hearing you because you got a lot of history. Yeah. Uh, you know, like especially with took them, you know. Yeah. So we, Bulldog went to jail at Salty Funeral. Oh, he got jumped by the police. And uh, I got I got locked up. Yeah, we all was there. I was in Rick car. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, I got locked up. Rick had that. Uh, we all had the blue rags up in the whole thing. Yeah. But I mean, you know, just like yeah, I, I know like, what you're saying. It's at, like at, like, at like the park, at the park when we'd be walking there. somewhere, and then we'd all be ready to go somewhere. Yeah. Like, why are we going there? You know, yeah. stuff like that. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like that day when we talked about Tookie, I was up there when it, you, I didn't know he squeezed the dude. I, no, the no, dude okay. The beer, this I, is what happened. I just seen him grab yeah. the dude, okay, and this, the dude this, just went out. Okay, this, this is what happened. This is the incident. <laughs> so me and Took, we up by the bathroom. The homies yeah, is over right. there bucking, shooting yeah. dice. So I was one of the dice shooting. Okay, so so we we getting ready to walk. So I tell Took, I say, hey Took. Let's walk down by where the dip bars and stuff is. So Pookie, he see us. So he starts coming. Y'all start coming. So me and Tuk, we walking down there. So this dude, he got his shirt open, and I'm watching him. He's tall, and he's coming like this, and he gets my attention. So I'm just watching him. He comes all the way around and just stops in front of me and Tuk. And I say, now Tuk better know this motherfucker. So Tuk don't know him because he ain't seeing nothing. And so I'm looking at him. So dude is saying, yeah, I work out a little. He look like bird man. I'm not, not bird, OG yeah, bird, but I mean by slim, bird skin, skinny yeah. motherfucker. And so uh, I look at this dude and I say, I say, check this out, man. I say, what's up? You come up to us, what's up? Now I'm watching this shirt. This side of his shirt is pulling. He got a 25 uh -oh. right there. Dude oh, takes his beer. Out of his back pocket, he he's this close to us. He opens the can, the and part. shit gets all on Tick's beard. <laughs> Tick looks part. at me like this. Tick goes like this. I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Spittle and beer and everything just flew in slow motion, right? And I yanked the pocket down. I'm get the 25. I said, look, Tick, I got a gun. We sent him running up out of the park. Hey, yeah. hey, you know, it was a trip, though. I know my memory's bad, but I, I I, don't know. I just seen him. I remember, Took squeezed him out, though. No, Took squeezed Squeeze. out. This no. is who Took squeezed out. Took squeezed out. Perry Manuel's cousin. Oh, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Said, no, Perry Manuel right. had a cousin, right? That was from another gang. Uh, and uh, Perry got mad at me because we went we went to get something from Perry, but Perry wasn't home. So me and Tick, we go over there. You, I think y'all are out front or something. And so the little dude, he comes out. So Tick sees the dude. And they get to talking to Tick, grabs him, and he starts squeezing him, and his eyes start popping out. And I said, hey, man. Let the dude go. Let him go. That's when Tuck was smoking a lot. So he let him go, you know, and dude, dude, dude was out basically from being squeezed like that. And uh, so he squeezed that dude. Tuck slapped the shit out of the dude in That's the park. The park yeah. Because I know yeah, we was over there gambling, yeah. you know, that, that, that bathroom That's, that right, was, right there at the front. Who would always line? rob the gangs? Not that you got to say, but was it, was it our homies that would rob the gangs? There different people that rock like... One time I'm up there gambling, uh, uh, Muppy, Muppy had my gun, uh, Pie Face, one of them had my gun, we're like, no, Muppy had my gun, I think, yeah. and, uh, and I gave a gun to Rick, we up there gambling, it was a dude they used to call uh, China or some shit, he wasn't, he wasn't a crib child, was, he was out the 40s, a Chinese or whatever yeah. he was, and we up there gambling, right? So I see the dude, but I had a cold kill shot. Yeah. So, but now dude, I know he had teased because he come with a, 
with some dice and he made he didn't just tear the, the uh pack open, he eased it out so I know oh, he got teased. Yeah, so now we gamble and you know, I'm sliding dice, I'm cracking the, uh, uh, the game up and then uh my homie Pie Face, he was a little wet off that water, so I see my point up under the up under the uh money. So I do like to see it. You wanna see it? And the yeah. dude said, yeah, but I see this big 45 on the side of him, right? Yeah. So he risked my point, so I'm getting my point, my money, but he got a side bet with Pi. So Pi gonna get his gun, and then he was like, man, now the, wood, the money on the wood, that bet's no good. That's what I told him, so now Pi trying to get paid. But I'm telling Pi, just leave that alone, man. Leave yeah. that alone, right? So Pi won't leave it alone. I said, man, he got a gun. Yeah. So the dude stood up, pull out a four five. His two partners pull out the four five. They got me against the wall. Yeah. So they and Pi leaves. So they say, uh, "Where your homeboy come?" I said, "Man, I'm, I, I was born by myself. I come up here by myself." And woo woo, they were like, "Where you homeboy?" I said, "Man, I come up here by myself. I'm born and I'm trying to." These niggas got these pistols. So Rick, yeah. Big Rick, and uh, Pie Face and Muffy, they got these guns. I know my gun ain't got three bullets in it. They point at the nigga. They got like 32 and shit. These niggas got four fives. Yeah. And I'm like tripping. I'm ducking like this here, man. And uh, dude, he was he didn't rob me, but he was just worried about something to jump off, right? Yeah. And uh, I so always finally, thought it was the homies that would be robbing. It, it, it was for the most part, but yeah. that nigga got me. So he turned his yeah. head one way. I was out of there. Went yeah. down. You know, I, I broke. Got up out of there. Yeah, yeah. But, but when we hit the county jail, though, they killed him. Uh, in the county jail, that time was, uh, he was out there, I think he was out the 40s, but they were not the 40s then, because he yeah. had robbed the Jewish store or something, and had tortured whoever he was, and did something low, I don't know how it went, but they yeah. killed him in the county jail when we was all going through that. Yeah. So took, he was in a high power, me, Big Rick, then we was all on 3800. Yeah. But yeah, everybody, we used to rob niggas too, though, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it was survivor always, of the it, it was survivor of the fittest. Up there, but I and it would be a, how much money would be in them crap games? Like maybe ten thousand. Huh? Hell no, it wasn't that much money back then. Man, well, how it, much would be you'd in You'd be there? lucky to get a hundred, two hundred dollars out there. Oh, and that went shit. It yeah. was a bunch of ones. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, you talking about seventy nine? Well, this photo don't get. You yeah. might at, at a good crap game, you might get a thousand at the yeah. most. But how come it was so many I? people? Because niggas was shooting tools, and you know, that, yeah. that was the, the, the bet back then. I ain't gonna put no extras on it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But that, I, I, you know, cause then we had different plays up there. Cause, you know, we used to shoot uh, pad roll up there. Preacher Mike, he would That's always it. come up there and he would he would flash like three or four, five hundred dollar bills and he would have them in his hand. Yeah, but then, then you know they had the ones with the fake bank. Okay. Too, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. have all the ones on the outside. Oh, yeah. And then, and then you know. Flossing bank, yeah, making then, you, you think. Know, the, the, then they had the, like, you know, all the games about like three car Because there wasn't, that shit. there wasn't no drugs that made a lot of money back then. Well, the that, water. That we mess with. Yeah, but the, whoever, the people that were selling water oh, back yeah, then, they so always the, had yeah, money. Yeah, so the gallons Simba, and whatever. And I heard it was OCs. Simba now. Simba, yeah, yeah, yeah Simba. Yeah, I, yeah. I ran with them for a minute. Yeah, them the ones yeah. who making all the money. The, the, the boys out of Compton and Watts, yeah. they was having that big money a long time ago. I got a Simba story. Uh, you know? uh, Simba, Simba had an old lady, right? So his old lady stayed on 67. <laughs> his old lady stayed on 67th uh, and 3rd L. Oh, uh, Simma, Simma, Simma is, a, is a hard baller, you know. Used to hang out at the cafe. Good brother, you know. Uh, about he, he, he banged with the Magnificent Seven for a little while. He had a 44, and he would put in work with us sometime. Good brother. Had heart, everything. Had hands, had chunkums, had a little size when he would work out. So... Uh, what would have happened is, is that uh, my homeboy, he had a, uh, he, he, Rusty calls him. He was coming down the street, so Rusty whistled. Rusty knew how to crib whistle. So he crib whistled, and, and dude heard it, and cheated. It was Anthony Cheatham. So, so Anthony Cheatham was, uh, he was probably the best car thief at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So he came and, he, and switched the rules. He right. knew how to tag yeah, some shit. Tag, so so he came back in the 6 1, kind like Raymond had. So, and PP. Pee -pee. So I said, uh, damn, I said, hey, cheat him. Let me buy that car. I got a few hundred right now. He says, I don't want to sell it to you. He, and I says, why? And he was going to tell me it was a rule, right? Yeah. But something in his brain told him not to tell me. And then he said, all right, you want to get it? And I said, yeah. So I peeled him off. 200 bucks. Yeah. 
He gave me the car. He said, drop me off at my house. Ooh, take him right home, drop him off, come back. Me and Rusty's in the car. We take the car up uh, St. Andrews up toward the 80s. We'll go hang out with Rayford in there. Right. So as we go in, the police pull us over. <laughs> the police pull us over thinking we cheat them. So the, <laughs> so the police look and he says, hey, cheat them? That's, 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 that's red. He, he called Rusty Red. Yeah. He said, that's red and his brother. So so they draw down on us, right? Get out the car. So we get out the car. Yeah, Red, you stand over there. Your brother, get over there. So they got us like all out there, he's searching the car. So I know I'm cool. You know, I just buy the car. So so dude says, uh, no, you get this car from Cheatham, huh? I don't say nothing. He says, so I'll tell you something. You buy this car from Cheatham. And then he look at me like, he say, this your car? I say, yeah, it's my car. He say, this car is a switcheroo. <laughs> That's what the police say. He said, I don't got time to do all this paperwork. He said, take this car, give it back to Cheatham and get your money back. And the other would start busting up laughing and they leave. I said, ain't that a bitch? I said, Cheatham, sell me a switcheroo. So we go back over there. I give Cheatham his car and get my money back. So, you know, Cheatham, he he would burn people sometimes. You Actually, know. Cheatham, I used to walk home from... You didn't want to walk down Cimarron when you get six miles, six, seven. That would be Anthony Cheatham, uh, uh, Gene Keith, all of them. Oh, uh, they had the hardest them. crew. Man, and Coochie, and them, man. man. You don't get your pocket shit. Yeah, yeah they had a hard grade. crew. Like, but I'm so glad I knew him. We start going down. Who, who was the other brother? I give him the David credit Cheatham. for being the leader. Oh, nah, uh, the he, oldest brother. No, nah, the, the one who jumped out of the the one who jumped out of the court. That's Anthony Hatch. Yeah, Anthony Hatch was the leader of that crew. Yeah, Anthony Hatch. Yeah, that was his crew. They they yeah. they weren't calling themselves Crips at first. What were they? Well, well, when I came on, some of them was badass boys. There you go. You know, then, yeah, then, uh, yeah. But then yeah. they was uh. After them, they they started Crips first. They, some of them was Castle Crips at one oh, time. Oh, okay. But but uh, when, so when the did Tony Stacy used to go over there. Tony Stacy knew face them. He went to Crenshaw. Oh, I remember yeah, I, that. I mean, I remember I've been that. over uh, when he was standing behind the liquor store on Hoover. I was like, so I was young. Yeah, but yeah. But we used to go over there. I used to go over there with Slew. Oh, Slew would them. go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I used to go over his house, but I was a youngster. Oh, I didn't okay. have no face for. Tony Stacy is a couple of years older than me. Yeah, he's Tony's you know around my age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tony yeah. Stacy, but uh, like he was a good dude too, though. Yeah, yeah. I, he's know, still a good dude. Yeah, to yeah, because uh, yeah. he had booked us at Crenshaw, and I go over there and say something. He had pushed the uh, three thirty seven right here. The bullets came out. Yeah. So I say, let me take, let him take care of his business. Yeah. He did that. Then when he got through, I was like, man, I was just over your house with baby face. Just say he was in your homeboys. Yeah, he gave everybody shit back. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It that's was, a that's a more. trip. That's yeah. a trip. How how we all like, you know, ran across each other's path. Yeah. You know, we all because it's like that square I told you. It's from Vermont. Yeah. Back then it was from Vermont to Crenshaw, from a hundred, well, I'd say Imperial, yeah. all the way back down Slauson. to Slauson, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was. It.